Hey viewers, if you would like to get too soon trending news videos, please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us. Days of our lives has suddenly given us a twist that has stopped us in our tracks. Furthermore, it's nearly persuaded us that Constantine ought to stay a little longer after he revealed some intriguing hints regarding the mysterious, perilous pasts of both John and Steve. Do not misunderstand, we still want the slippery con removed from Salem and above all from Maggie's life. However, we'll admit that we're curious enough to need some clarification first. Black Patch had his first decent look at John a short while ago when he abducted Constantine and told him to get the hell out of Dodge. That seemed to trigger a curious epiphany of recognition in the Greek's mind, but not in John's. Days of Our Lives returned to the mystery on Tuesday, January 9, following a brief but intriguing hiatus that left us even more perplexed. Thoughtfully contemplating John's identity, Constantine perused several of his files and was astounded that it couldn't be the man he was considering because he was supposed to be deceased. Subsequently, he engaged in some heated debate with John and Steve, obviously trying to validate his theory. Following a few lighthearted yet pointed threats, Constantine revealed the address of his home, his beautiful villa in area, as if we can trust anything he says. Steve gave a slight flinch at the mention, but the P.I. denied any knowledge when Constantine laughed that he seemed to recognize it, but John appeared completely perplexed. Thus, it is evident that whatever Constantine believes to be true involves both Steve and John's past. That also tracks, in his early years Steve wasn't a very pleasant person, he performed the dirty tricks of the mobster, such as obtaining the bandaged pawn for his employer, while working with Victor back when he was a villain. That was in the past, when Victor and Stefano fought over John, who was a valuable, brainwashed assassin, only known by his codename. When we first met John, he was completely bandaged, ostensibly following plastic surgery. Hence, despite the fact that they didn't look alike, everyone believed he was Roman. Was Constantine able to see his face after the surgery, which is strange because we appear to meet him right away, or does he still have enough of his former appearance that people could recognize him? We all know Constantine is a creep, but aside from being a resentful businessman who took a loan, was he also involved in Victor's more questionable activities? Was Constantine also a part of John's past? What were those files he was looking through? A convenient phone book of assassins? And after all these years, does Steve really know more about John's past than he has admitted to? Was Steve, incidentally, more involved in the pawn's life than we initially believed? If that is the case, why has he not informed his friend? We are faced with mysteries within mysteries, and all we can do is wait and hope that the relationships of friendship, trust, and cooperation that Steve and John have developed over the years remain intact.